Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are taking a look at the XT11 diving torch from Shoot. If you already follow my channel you will probably, you will probably already have seen a previous review where I review a whole camera tray set including two of these lights, although I have promised you in that video that I will make a separate proper review only for the light and this is what we are doing today. So here we are the XT11 and now let's get this video started. So guys, as you can see, this light, as I told you, is a very nice small light, convenient, easy operation with this um, button here, and you even have a power indicator. In the front, you have a Cree XML L2, which is the newer version, and what happens is, basically, you have a small light, one 18650 battery and dual O-ring seal in the front, it also, also looks very sturdy, and this is basically how it works. Let's go right away into the instruction manual, because you should uh, read it carefully before use, obviously. And what we have here is basically some information. More or less what we have here is that we have the high mode, which are 900 lumens, low mode, which are 300 lumens, strobe mode, which are 450, you notice it gets a little brighter, and there is one thing stated here, which is burst laser or whatever. I haven't found any laser here, would actually be fun underwater, but what they understand under laser is the power indicator, which you can see through this transparent, let's say, plastic PVC part, where you can see the LED indicating the power level remaining in the battery. It runs one 18650 battery and this is all we need to know. One more thing which I like a lot about the light is on top of having a power indicator it has a over discharge protection for the battery. This means you can use any kind of battery even non-protected cells and it will protect the cell in case the voltage gets too low it will just shut it off. If we go ahead, here we have some things. The only thing which I also stated at the other video is basically they should put two extra O-rings for convenience, although the O-rings will hold forever basically if you treat them well and in case you need more, they're very easy and cheap to find. Going through here, you have basically the modes, turn off, um, how it works, the switch and so on and so on. You have uh, here the indication that when it's at 2.6 volts, the light will shut off. This is the battery voltage, of course. And what I, what I also like is basically you have it on high mode and in case the battery voltage gets very low, it will shut itself down to low mode automatically and then shut off once it reaches 2.6 volts. Here are some indications how to use the charger. Everyone knows how to use the charger. Now let's, get, let's go through the Chinese manual. I'm just kidding with you. We don't read that. We have read the English already. Now let's take a look what I suggest should be in a package if they sell this light separately. So you can either sell sell only the light as it is here or you sell it in the pack which is the light, a battery and a charger. Maybe some extra o-rings although that is optional. The charger which was included also in the other set is basically a charger which puts which puts out 450 milliamp, milliamps so it is uh, let's say a good charger, it's not a very quick charging although the battery is also at only at 2000 milliamp hours. So this means you can charge this battery if it's completely drained and in around 4 hours it should be full. How to operate the battery I'm going to show you very quickly, you can see here plus and minus, so all you do is you just slide in the minus here and it's good to go. This is how it works, let's take a look how to place the battery inside of the light. Therefore we're just gonna unscrew it like this. This part is glued in the back, I have tried to open it, it does not open, so there's only one part which you can open and it's this part. I like the way the thread is made, I like the, the way it's cut, it looks very clean. And as you can see here probably that the two o-rings sit there quite nicely, you have a clean thread and on this side it's also everything very nicely insulated between the plus and minus so it actually looks good. Battery placing in the negative pole first and the positive pole always to the driver. So here we go, you just screw it in as easy as this, screw it in all the way once it is closed, you will feel when it's closed and we can operate the light. Now, operations are very easy, you just have to press this button here and if you press it once you are in high mode. These are 900 lumens and you can see already the blue indicator came on. 
If we press the switch again, we are down to 300 lumens. The indicator always stays the same color. And if we press it again, we are in strobe mode. This is more of a flashing, however you want to call it. But we have around 450 lumens. As I said, the indicator is always on, only it shuts off while we shut off the light. Then it goes off. Also very quickly to note, the indicator is always blue until it reaches, I think, 10% of battery percentage left. Then it turns red. It might start to blink red, although then it will slowly but surely somehow shut off and you won't have any more light. I don't have anything else to say about the light, it's just a simple light, it works, it, it makes its job, it gives you light underwater where you need it. Now let's basically jump in the water and check out how this light performs underwater. So let's go! Alright guys, I hope you could see more or less how this light performs underwater in, an, in, in a diving environment, in a real diving environment, to see how powerful it is, how it looks underwater, how the color rendering is, and this is always what I like to show on my reviews. Now let's take a quick look at the runtime, you're probably asking yourself if this small values here are really or indeed true. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head in and put this torch to the test and by sides using this 2000 milliamp hours battery from shoot I'm gonna use my second light which I have still and I'm gonna use the NCR 18650B from Panasonic which has a capacity of 3400 milliamp hours and we're gonna see the difference in between one and another I will have it specified under both of them so you can see which one would stand longer but I can tell you right away it's worth to go away and get the larger capacity one Okay guys, so as you could see with the 3400 milliamp hours Panasonic battery, you can really get a lot more out of the light. It's not really a big difference, but after those two hours, more or less, one and a half, two, two and a half hours, you could see that the, that the original battery went down quite a lot in terms of brightness, although the Panasonic battery withstanded it for a very, very long time, and then they went off not too far apart. So I really have to say the Panasonic battery is a winner, of course, if you take a look from 2000 to 3400, although the price difference, if you're really buying new battery for the torch or any kind of, of torch which is similar to this one and you don't have a battery yet I would recommend you to go for the higher capacity one because the little money you spend more might be the difference in an emergency so just remember that small pros and cons about this light is the pros are it's very small it's cheap to get it is um, very convenient to use it has a small power indicator it's good if you if you're let's say a professional diver or something more professional not a rec recre recreational diver which you go home every day you charge your, you charge your torch it's more of a thing which you can use daily and by the power indicator you can really see when you have to charge it so that's quite nice the LED is a solid LED, we know this LED is very common in diving lights. The only negative point I have to say is in case this light is sold with battery and charger, 
the charger and the battery could be a little bit, a bit more, uh, more of a quality and also the battery could have a higher capacity although you're buying it for so cheap for dirt cheap basically so you can't expect too much it's something that works it's something that will work for for quite a long time i expect at least and this is all i have to say about this light lastly i hope you enjoyed this video as usual i hope you can hit the like button down below if you enjoyed it and just check by my channel in case you enjoy my videos in case you don't want to miss any of the future videos just make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on any of those Thanks a lot for watching, stay tuned!